welcome to Žižkov, which is one of the uh, very easy going parts of Prague, uh, very artisty and our lab has been here since the very beginning, uh, it means like 1998. And what we are doing is to uh, support new media arts and culture in Prague. We are kind of pioneering in this way and the focus of the lab uh, is manifolded. Uh, we are very much interested in uh, uh, different alternative interfaces like working in the field of connecting brain science and computer science for instance. We are also very active in digital archiving, uh, very much interested in like the knowledge that's generated through archives. And uh, as well, and not the least, uh, we are very much into distributed network things like installations, participatory in installations and performances. That's also one of the reasons why we are meeting in Prague yeah. within the ETP, this European Teleplateau project that is almost finished and we have been involved on the programming side as well as on the arts concept side. it's a kind of a typical European co-production process so it has this uh, technical aspect yeah. management aspects which we have learned uh, quite a lot from that uh, it's not very easy to rehearse remotely not even perform remotely but still there was uh, quite a big load of work uh, uh, on the programming side in Siant and we are still developing a new 3D kind of engine which should be later on open source thing uh, available to people which is called CC Client and we have mm -hmm. tried to embed it in uh, uh, the ETP platform mm -hmm. meaning that uh, normally uh, with FreeDevice we work with uh, Calypso software which is quite 2D in a way and works mainly with uh, just contours and we have been really uh, focusing on how to deliver 3D dimension uh, three, third dimension in a way, mm -hmm. into the images uh, that are being produced uh, from different locations. ADAPT stands actually for advancing digital uh, performance techniques mm -hmm. and uh, we are very much into uh, making one performance mm -hmm. uh, as a resource, material, and then working with other people who watch it, who will join the team to make, like, make a new version of it. So mm -hmm. it's like a learning cycle and mm -hmm. the, main cons the main focus in ADAPT project is uh, a magnetic motion capture, how this can uh, uh, reinforce interaction of dancers with digital images uh, in real time, but not remotely, it's okay. just uh, uh, in situ thing. Uh, with ADAPT we are actually going very soon, it's yeah. almost in two weeks from now, two weeks. Okay. Uh, to Avignon, uh, uh -huh. to the big uh, theatre festival on the invitation of one of our partners. Uh, uh, we are running a workshop there to mm -hmm. show uh, people in there uh, what the motion capture technologies are all about. Mm -hmm. Also doing as uh, like a one day seminar full of lectures uh, mm -hmm. about technologies and... Uh, yeah. Uh, besides like research work and yeah. uh, co-productions and productions that we are involved in, we also do public events. Uh, we organize a biennial festival which is called yeah. Enter. The, the, up, the, the one upcoming is uh, scheduled for May 2011. Yeah. So of course there is a chance to showcase works. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also hosting residents. Mm -hmm. uh, so if someone is interested to work in the field of motion capture, dance and 3D, that mm -hmm. would be a perfect platform to contact. Yeah always been based in Prague but really active internationally. I think for us it's an essential thing to be uh, like present, not only mm -hmm. in touch but present in other countries. Uh, it starts with Buenos Aires where we are preparing mm -hmm. a biennial between Latin America and Europe, uh, mm -hmm. also scheduled for 2011 in fall, uh, which is a real science driven uh, biennial. So it's not only art tech but mm -hmm. it has a r links to science, communities and industry as well. Mm -hmm. And on the other side we are working in like uh, <coughs> third countries in a way, uh, like Vietnam, uh, thinking together with our partners in Norway, which is Tex, uh, mm -hmm. who run the Trondheim uh, Electronic Arts Festival, uh, about 
what is the situation like in Vietnam, a country with some limitations, what uh, ICTs can bring mm. into the country on the creative side and perhaps help the country to develop on a more sustainable level. Well, thank you very much and uh, you know, let's uh, keep working together. Yeah, we are very much into it. Okay. Thanks for Great. the interview.